Hey y'all, welcome to the Messy Studio. Hey y'all, before we get started today, I got a sticker from my buddy Mike Walt, officially known as the Goblet King. That's how I've christened him, but not to be confused with the Goblin King. But let's put this sticker in its place of prominence, if I can keep from dropping it on the floor. Mike is a fantastic wood turner. Does a lot of goblets, great things with goblets. And now I can be reminded of his smiling face every time I step up to my lathe. Today's project isn't going to be a turning project. I'm going to make something for my wife for Mother's Day. Hopefully I'll get it done by Mother's Day. I'm going to use my router and carve this out. And then I'm going to cut a chamfer or an angle off the back of this and mount it to another board so it'll sit on the desk. Actually, I, I'm, I'm hoping she'll take it to her uh, classroom. She's a high school math teacher. I'm hoping she'll take it to her classroom and stand it up on her bookcase. But I think she'll like it. So let's get at it. Before I put the bit in, I used my Dremel with a brass brush and I cleaned it off. Cleaned all the, the glue from the last two carvings off of it. The brass won't hurt the carbide, won't chip it. And if you keep that bit clean, it'll stay sharp a whole lot longer. So I've got the bit in. I'm going to adjust my depth. I can see I'm a little too deep right now. I want to go about 3 sixteenths, I think. Let me check. That's about right. Plug the router in. I'm going to start by carving the outline for the outside and for the banner. Now I'll put the background bit in. Take a short break. My legs are going to sleep. <laughs> Love back injuries. All right. And I'll have a little bit more of my coffee. Okay, I finished my coffee. So, plug the router back in and do this here background work and then I'll put my detail bit in and I'll cut these lines.
Okay. I don't see anything I missed. Router's unplugged. Committing the cardinal sin of putting my tool away before I know before I've done my sanding to know everything is okay. But I think it looks good. I don't think I'm going to have to do any more carving. I just need to clean it up. I just need to clean it up. Put some sanding sealer on it after I sand it get the toner and sharpie ink off of it shoot it I still have to cut my outside shape I'm gonna leave it I'm gonna leave it solid from here down and chamfer this edge or, or angle this edge so I can glue it to another piece of wood It'll just be a slight angle, just so that it'll sit nice. I don't want it standing straight up. I want it angled back just a little. Now for sanding this, I could use my belt sander. And I use this for bigger projects. But I found it's faster just to use my drum sander. So I'm going to send this through the sander and We'll be back. Okay, now I'm going to put on a couple of coats of shellac for sanding sealer. It's blown out good. I've chamfered the edges. I'm going to put this on liberally, as you can tell. because I want it to soak in so this so the paint doesn't penetrate I don't care if it penetrates in the holes but I don't want it to penetrate where I gotta sand it off you know what I mean? jelly bean so okay I got a liberal coat on there and I'll let this dry for oh a good half hour and then we'll come back and I'll shoot it black and we'll sand it off. Okay, I've got <laughs> the wind's blowing my homemade lazy season around. The sanding sealer has dried. So now let's fill all the nooks and crannies. Painting against the fan ain't easy. on the surface. I need to get that penetrated. Don't want any brown spots showing through the wood. I think we're good. Let this dry for an hour or so and come back and sand it. Okay, I've got this all sanded off. I'm ready for the final finish to go on here. Cut that and go. It's looking pretty good. Now I've got to chamfer the edges on the base. And then I'll sand, I mean, paint around the perimeter there. So let's get her done. Let that dry. 
come back, sand the top off, and we can put it together and put the clear coat on. Lucky day. Now, pick some of the fine stuff out here from the sanding. Now all I have to do is figure out how to hold this while I apply the glue and the, then I'll put some screws in it. All right, let me think about this and I'll be back. I think I figured out what I'm gonna do. This is 5 eighths of an inch thick. Yeah, this is right at 5 eighths of an inch thick. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna flip this over. I'm gonna get my Craig jig and I'll put some pocket holes here and then run a small bead of glue and then screw it down. I'll draw me a reference line to line everything up with. So when I get set up for that, I'll come back. Wife got me this K4 for Christmas and I haven't had a chance to use it yet. I've got a K3 and it works just fine. All right, let me get my screws and stuff and I'll be back. Nice thing about the K3, comes with this nice little box and in here, there's depth settings or markings for setting your stop collar. So since that's 5 eighths of an inch thick, I want to take this to 5 eighths. All right, stop collar set up. I'm going to use these two one inch screws. Okay, this side I'm going to drill A. This, it don't have to be perfect. I don't know why I'm, well, yeah I do, I'm a perfectionist. Okay, just a small bead of glue. I don't want to have to deal with a lot of squeeze out. The screw's ready. Give that glue a few minutes to set up and crust over and then I'll be ready to shoot her and I'll get set up for that so short of the finish going on it there it is hope she likes it but I'll show you the finished product in a little bit Let this dry a half hour, put another coat on, I'll probably put four. And there we have it, completed sign. Four coats of poly. I'm not gonna worry about filling the back the, where the screws are. That really don't make a lot of difference. And it's done, I can give it to her I don't know if I'm going to give it to her Sunday morning or if I'm going to give it to her tomorrow. The jury is still out. But I like it. I think she will too. So thanks for watching y'all. I really appreciate it. Please like and subscribe. Come back and see us. As always, you never know what's going to happen here at the Messy Studio. Thanks again y'all. Have a good one.